Okay, hello everybody. Here we are again, uh, live with our penultimate session of the day. I'm joined by Nell uh, from Cadence, um, who I think has got a bit of an exclusive look at um, uh, some exciting work that Cadence have been doing, integrating AI uh, into, mm -hmm. into the work that they're doing. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna take myself off stage uh, and hand over to Nell uh, for the session. All right, thanks, Tom. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Nell. I run the incubator at Modern Tribe. Modern Tribe is a digital agency. We're part of the Liquid Web family of brands, um, which makes us partners with Stellar and Cadence. So our incubator team, we've taken on the uh, mascot of the crow, but we get to work internally at Liquid Web with all of our partners to help them accelerate projects or extend their products and features. And we've gotten, to, we, excuse me, sorry, we do this all with an overarching focus of making WordPress easier. That's really our charter and our reason for being and we've been working for almost a year on the product I'm about to show you. We've been working really, really closely with the Cadence team. I was just telling Tom um, and Alex before we started that I did not have this product that I'm about to show you on my machine until Tuesday of this week. So it's very new and I'm really, really excited to share it and start getting feedback. So I'll start by doing just a quick primer of Cadence for those of you who are not familiar. So Cadence is a suite of tools to help you build beautiful websites on WordPress. Um, the foundation is a really robust, flexible, fast theme. They have a library of custom blocks and a pattern library that you can see on screen right here. Um, we have ShopKit that helps you extend and customize WooCommerce. And then we have a suite of conversion toolkits. So that's like pop-up spanners, slide-ins, things like that. So Cadence really is kind of a one-stop shop to get your site dialed and up and running. So thinking of how can we pair with Cadence with the focus of making WordPress easier, and it kind of brought us back to the beginning. We really believe that site creation on WordPress should be easier. WordPress is great at extendability. It is great at customization. It is not great at the quick start. Um, and so we've kind of turned this internally, the five-minute website. That's what we're calling this project uh, internally and kind of using that as our North Star. So as we dive in a little bit further into that, what are the hurdles that a person has to overcome to go from no website to publish website? Content generation is a huge, huge part of that. Um, it's a huge blocker. So, and I'm not just talking like thinking up a great headline to go on your homepage. I'm talking about knowing what makes a good homepage. What does good kite or site strategy look like? What does good site design look like? How do I find good images that accurately portray my business or my uh, project? How do I pull that all together? Those are really, really daunting tasks that we want to make easier for the user. So we're doing that with an integration of our, the Cadence Design Library, OpenAI, and the Pexels Image Library. And we're underpinning it all and kind of bolstering it up with really sound content strategy. So how have we done it? Uh, so, so, so many hours of prompt engineering. So we started by doing an audit of hundreds of really compelling and really great websites and kind of looking through what are the stories that they tell, what are the broken down themes and components that allow them to tell their story. We made an index of all of those, then we started working with OpenAI to develop prompts that would give us really high quality output based on those themes across many industries. Then we started fine tuning the prompts so that the data we would get back could be ingested right into our design library. We've paired that with industry specific hand curated uh, image collections from the Pexels royalty free image library, drop that all into a beautifully designed pattern. And there we have a custom building block that users can use to kind of layer in their story to make beautiful pages and beautiful websites really easily. So now I'm gonna to move to the demo part. Um, thank you, Miriam, for making it cool to be a coward. I also pre-recorded our demo just to avoid any hiccups. Um, I'm gonna live narrate it. I'm gonna start us at um, taking a look at the design library as it exists today. We did a release in April. That's kind of the first step towards the AI integrated product. So we kind of, we released like an AI ready design library in early April. I'm gonna show us that, show the AI layer on top of it. Our final product is uh, patterns and pages. We are pre-beta still and our pages product is not up to snuff, it is not done. I still wanna show it to you just to show you our thinking and just to start to get feedback and get the conversation going. Uh, so here we go. All right, so my husband and I run a small motel in Leadville, Colorado. And after we released our 
new pattern library, I rebuilt our website using Cadence. I'm not a developer. This was really easy for me. So now I'm a personal fan of Cadence. You can see the design library here. Um, this is, there's tons of different design options. It's inheriting my theme. So I can't really make a tough decision. I can choose, I can go dark mode. I can choose accent colors. Um, I just want to call out something super obvious here. And this is really how the web works until the very recent, until now. Um, this is all placeholder text. So there's placeholder copy, there's placeholder imagery. When I drop in one of these patterns on my website, sort of start starting a new round of work. I need to think of all the copy. I need to go find images. It's just like, you know, there's a lift, a pretty significant lift there. So let's take a look and see how AI can make that a bit easier. So I go in here, here's our prompt intake form. Tell a little bit about our business, pick our industry, our sub industry. This next page is where I really get to teach, tell OpenAI about what we do and what I want to feature. I have three paragraphs here. More would be better for sure. We're testing internally really with just one paragraph and getting pretty good responses, but we all know the more we can teach uh, OpenAI, the better we get. Drop in some keywords and then pick our tone. These tones are pulled directly from OpenAI. Then we go here and this is where we pair you up your industry with a hand, a hand curated collection of images. So free royalty or like stock images here. And now we're looking at that same design library, but now I have, I don't have placeholder text anymore. I have hundred percent unique copy. That's about the Timberland Motel. And I have a great, uh, a wide range of really wonderful, beautiful pictures that I could use on, could use on the site or just give me kind of an instructive idea artistically on what would make good imagery for my website. You can see on the left that we're designed, we are organized by context. So that's kind of those big thematic chunks of content that we're talking about. We're looking in about pulling in multi multiple versions of or pieces of copy and open AI is respecting the content hierarchy into the pattern, which is pretty cool. Um, but there is an issue here in that I don't know if any of you have been to Leadville or even Colorado, but this is not what it looks like at all. Um, and that's kind of an issue. So let's see if we can do a little bit better. So we can come in here. I have my own pictures. I'll upload or pick featured images, choose background images. We map those to the appropriate places of the design library. And now I have a full, full library of patterns that are 100% all about the Timberline Motel. I can drop anything, any of these in and honestly hit publish if I wanted to, or it just gives me a really, really, really great leg up um, on getting some additional content. So like Leadville's a very old town, history is part of our story. This gives me a lot of ideas and starting points to start to kind of weave that into the rest of my website. Team and hospitality is really important um, in the hospitality business. And then frequently asked questions. I just wanted to hone in. This one I found particularly interesting or impressive. I'm still very impressed with OpenAI. But that we told OpenAI, we're a motel. Here's a little bit about us. Here's an accordion pattern. Give me some frequently asked questions. It gives us this overarching headline. It gives us four couplings of question and answer text. It lay, we've laid it all out in here. Um, and I think what surprised me the most is that these are questions that we get asked frequently. And these answers are correct. I can drop this in and publish it. And I'm off to the races. Um, so this just really gives me a lot of tools to build out a website quickly. This is our pages portion. I mentioned you can, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of things that are not working here, but we're really thinking pages will be built out using the pattern library that I just showed you. And we'll build out several different versions of each of the pages to tell the different stories that different industries may uh, or want to tell. So an about page for a motel is going to be very different from an about page from a landscaping service, from a photographer. We're going to have many different content. Um, content stories, and then many different design stories layered on top of that. So there'll be a lot of options in here to get someone up and running really quickly. So just going back to the patterns, if you want to browse by design, we still have that option available. If you know you want to write it, you just need like a media and text panel, let me go. That's always here, I'm not forcing AI on anybody. But if you want a big leg up, you can uh, start with the contextual pattern library and then just run from there. So this product, um, what we're calling Cadence AI, is uh, we're on track to ship that 
I'm hoping we're going to beta the week after next, so early June. After we ship that out, we're going to take a step back and kind of raise our elevation and look at full site creation. So now that we know you're a motel, you should have these seven pages on your website. This is the way that story should be told. Here you go. That brings us back to that five minute website. And then we're going to come down and get way in the weeds and look at some block level fine tuning, give some uh, tools so that people can get in and make sure the messaging is really exactly on par. Um, yeah, so that's our product. Thank you for having me. Um, and I'd love to answer any questions if we have time. A great session. Thanks very much, Nell. I think we do have time for a few questions. Uh, right. Miraculously, for uh, for an event, we're actually running a little bit ahead of schedule, um, huh. which I think just uh, reflects uh, what a tight ship has been run so far by everybody. Um, so um, please do uh, drop any questions you've got, uh, folks, in chat, because um, uh, this is a nice opportunity to take advantage of that uh, of the fi extra five minutes we've got. A lot of love for the session in chat. I don't know whether you could see that whilst you were presenting now. But, Thank you. Um, I was a little nervous. It seemed Thank to go you. down very well. Um, mm -hmm. I think a few nerves are always helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's <still> alive. <laughs> um, and uh, it seems like um, uh, it's it seems like you've been doing some really great work um, uh, over on Cadence. There is there. Um, you know, I know Stella WP has got a portfolio of products now i wonder you know that you're covering kind of how ai is um mm -hmm. coming to cadence I, I wonder just how like organizationally um you're thinking about ai across that is there like a kind of core ai group that are looking across all the products or uh, yeah so our team, team kind of figuring it out everyone's looking at ai everywhere but we're yeah. really looking we started with cadence because we see that as kind of like a uniting tool it's the foundation of mm. um all the plugin brands so our next like we have already started integrating custom patterns for our different plugins like for learn dash tc um making custom patterns and pages and once they're built into ai or into cadence excuse me they will get mm. AI. So if a user is using cadence plus the events calendar they will soon have ai but then um or ai generated patterns and pages we are also looking at specific tools for those plugin sets as well so we've built our service as a standalone that um other plugins will be able to build off of as well very cool yeah very very cool on the road awesome uh well instead of questions we're just getting lots of positive love from the uh from the chat so that's very nice uh, we appreciate it um i think we are about uh ready for to jump over to our panel um which is going to close out this uh, this event that we've put on today um, and so I think I will um, press end on this session and uh, we'll right. hop over. Um, it may take us a few more minutes to get the panel uh, set up and live, folks. So just bear with us. We are wrangling a few more people for that one it's, than we had for the previous sessions. Both a plug in and a theme. There's just one question. So I'll ah, answer it. Okay, yeah. nice. Great. It's ever. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, thank you again, Nell. Uh, thank and you very much. I appreciate you being here.